G'day guys, welcome to episode 70 of Ask Jack D. Today we talk about are business advisors and consultants useful? And I go into what is the great dichotomy of all great entrepreneurs and what are the different juxtaposing forces and characteristics we need to build within ourselves. And my number one caveat for those that want to use coaches and advisors, what is the number one thing you need to look out for that if you don't, will probably kill whatever project that we're working on. G'day guys, welcome to episode 70 of Ask Jack D. Today I take a question from the Twitter floor. Andy Watson is our question asker of the day, who says, Jack, what's your thoughts on professional advisors and them assisting with businesses growing and developing? Hashtag Ask Jack D. Andy, this is a really, really good question. Uh, And the reason is, I believe that there is a great dichotomy of all great entrepreneurs. And the dichotomy is this. Great entrepreneurs, you know, counterintuitively, the more experienced an entrepreneur becomes, the more advisors they surround themselves with, right? So you never get to a point where you're learned and you've just got it sorted, right? Branson has a call every single day with you know about six advisors who inform him and instruct him and he tells them ideas and they say, you shouldn't do that. And he says, I'm gonna do it anyway. You know, it's a daily discussion with like five or six people in Branson's case, right? And same, you know, same with Buffett. Great entrepreneurs actively seek education, self-education and advice a lot. The dichotomy is this. Great entrepreneurs are fiercely independently minded. We know what we want, we know where we're going. Uh, We uh, are often guided by an internal guidance system, if you like, and we have the level of strength and resourcefulness required to get us there. On the same token, we are also highly coachable. We recognize that the more we know, sorry, the more we learn, the less we know. We recognize that we don't know everything. We recognize that we shouldn't need to know everything. We recognize that a lot of the time we'll be working through people and with advisors and with coaches and guides and leaders and experts on how we actually get the outcome that we're searching for. So that's the dichotomy, is fiercely independently minded and coachable. A lot of the time, which is an interesting, uh, bordering on contradictory but not, uh, set of characteristics to have in one individual. And here's why. Most people are, that are really, really coachable, they don't want to make decisions. They want someone else to make decisions for them. Someone lay out a plan for me and I'll go and I'll do it. Some people who are independently minded don't want to listen to other people, right? I've got my way or the highway kind of thing, right? Great entrepreneurs have both. We need to foster both characteristics within ourselves all of the time, right? Um, so advisors are critically important. However, you're the leader. You're the guide, right? So you, you're guided and you're driven by you and uh, your, your research and your thinking and your intuition and all of that sort of stuff, which is grounded in research and mechanics and infrastructure and you know, commercial rationale. Um, so there's, you know, I'm going all over the place here, but we do the research, we get informed, we get the commercial rationale, you ultimately make the decision and surround yourself with advisors and people with being there, done that experience, who can help you facilitate that whole process in the most powerful way way possible, right? The other thing with advisors is this, particularly, without offending anybody, consultants, right? They can often be so entrenched in their models and in what's going on in the marketplace that they will, you know, like we're having a discussion about this recently. I'm writing another book at the moment, I'll tell you guys about it another time. Um, But the discussion was, you know, uh, bringing all of the existing business books that are out in the market to the table and going, this is what they're all doing, right? They're all red, white, and black, which funnily enough is the unprofessional colors, which was not deliberate in any way, shape, or form. Um, And someone actually posted on Instagram the other day. Let's bring up that photo right now. There's four books, right? And they're four business books, they're all white, red, and black. And so discussion, you know, someone brings it to the table and goes, all the business books right now are white, red, and black, so we need to make a white, red, and black. To which my response was, Surely if all business books are white, red, and black now, the three colors we should not use are white, red, and black, right? So a caveat with advisors is that they will often be the voice of reason, which we need. However, they will often be too safe, and they will often look for proof and validation 
by way of what other people are doing. The innovator's dilemma is that whenever you're doing anything new, whenever you are doing something that is truly innovative and truly reimagining what something could be, there shouldn't be any proof that you can point to to go, this is a good idea because here's the rationale. If we're truly reimagining what could be and what's possible and doing something that's truly innovative, then the rationale shouldn't exist yet, right? If it does, then it's probably not very innovative. So um, have advisors, have experts, have people that can coach you and all of that sort of stuff. Make sure that they are drawing out from within. They are giving you all the information, all the rationale, all of that sort of stuff, not for the purpose of boxing you in, but for the purpose of informing your innovation to innovate better. And to innovate, you need to be different, not like everybody else, which means a lot of the time you'll be going against a lot of the rationale that your advisors are giving you. That's cool. Still listen to it, right? One of the things we do here, like with the uh, entourage, you'll see behind me, you might even see someone with a golf club. We've got a team of like 10 advisors, right? And, and they know how to, they know when to advise on commercial and business realities. They know when does this person need me to ask them questions to draw out these answers and these insights from within. They know when to challenge, they know when to hold up, they know when to, um, you know, sort of slow down. Um, and they're masterful in how they go about that, right? So I think, I think, I think we do it quite well. I'm biased, right? Um, but yeah, a lot of rationale. They want you to play it safe a lot of the time. Uh, use them, listen to them, be respectful of them while still, you know, it's kind of learn the rules to break the rules, right? Learn what everybody else is doing or learn what the experts reckon so that you can break the rules and innovate in a very informed manner. Really good question. That was episode 70. I look forward to seeing you guys in episode 71 tomorrow. Believe me, I've been there. I've just actualized a wish that I dreamed as a kid. Because I'm learning.